for me, a practice of gratitude has been an amazing coping mechanism. I frequently find myself recognizing my fortune as it relates to my caregiver, my wonderful wife. I sometimes see her sacrifice suffering and the fact that she hides her pain as a source of guilt. This guilt can cause me to be less forthcoming about my own difficulties as an attempt to make her life easier. An odd communication gap occurs as I attempt to be less burdensome. How can I be less of a pain in the butt? Great question. It's a beautiful question and beautifully worded and I f and hard. I feel you. You know, this, this comes up a lot. I mean, the number one concern for most patients and one of the big reasons people want to hasten their own death very often uh, I'm not kidding. When it comes to that, is because they're feeling like a burden. They need to get out of the way. That they are gumming up the works of life for others. Um, it's really, really tricky. Because um, part of the truth is, you are a burden. It's the wrong word, but we are. You are. You are interdependent. Is the sweeter way of putting that which means like we need things from each other. We can't live this life by ourselves. It just can't work. It, we would die within hours. So part of my answer to your big, big question is, is less about your dynamic as a couple, but as, as society, as a people, we have to kind of wrap our heads around not that not only the very the, the naturalness of getting sick of becoming frail of dying of needing each other of needing help um, we need to wrap our heads around that as being part of normal full rich life um, because until we make the proper space for all this caring giving and receiving it's gonna we're just gonna be left feeling like a burden is somehow as though illness and dying are somehow anomalous and yanking your wife or you out of normal life when in fact what you are living is very much a normal life. So I, I see your question as really, it's a, it's a challenge to us as we make up our uh, a society is how do, we, how do we do justice to this part of our nature, the nature that gets sick, that needs, that dies. And then we won't, then th that, that would obviate the sense that we're a burden then you could just feel the sweetness of depending on each other so that's great i think we should all work to that world please let's keep sharing keep talking about it and sometimes being sick i've had this as a disabled person is i've had to just kind of there have been moments that have been really embarrassing where i've really needed help out in public in various ways my mother in her wheelchair can't get into certain stores needs help and it can feel very embarrassing like we're imposing on people remind yourself please that the problem is less in you the problem is more that we've crafted a world where it feels unokay to need each other it's a mouthful um, but meanwhile back to your dynamic as a couple well I think you I think naming it might help and simply saying honey I know I know I'm taking from you I and I know this cuts into your life. And if it's too much, let's figure out a way to, to get help. You don't need to do all this by yourself. You know, that might be a way to kind of un unburden her from feeling like she has to do everything. But I'd say just talking about it, can naming it. So often I work with families who, like you, you're feeling a burden and you start trying to protect your spouse. And then the spouse in private moment will come talk to me and say, gosh, I'm feeling like a, this or that, but I'm trying to protect my loved one, the husband, the patient from my own needs because I, he's the sick one. So this loving, protecting each other by, um, by curtailing ourselves, that um, very often you can pierce that by just talking about it in a safe way. Like, honey, let's go for a walk, let's have dinner. I really want to talk to you about this. And just having an ongoing dialogue. And just for all my talk of us needing each other, blah, 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 doesn't mean it can't be overwhelming and that we don't need uh, help ourselves as caregivers. So I just open that up and see where you can go and dare to get help for her. Again, caregivers need help too. Why? Because they're humans. Um, so I hope that's a helpful answer to your very big and important question. Mm -hmm.